I'm calling out to you, speaking comfort to your heart. I've not left you, nor will I ever leave or forsake you. I know acutely the terrible loss you feel. At times, even a sense of betrayal overtakes you. All of your questions of why, where, and why am I still here? Why was I left behind? And what am I ever to do now? You must resist the temptations to simply dive back out into the world and get very busy and to take advantage now of so many so-called new and exciting opportunities and careers due to the mass vacancies in every aspect of industry, business, and all-around money ventures. No, even in your pain and bewilderment, draw back from these things. Pull back away from your unstable world and seek me with all your heart ten times the more. Strongly call out to me with true repentance and a sincere change of heart, and I will help you. I will calm your fears and welcome you back with all but arms. You are not lost, and in the coming days you will see more and more just how much I still truly love you. If a mother forsake her child, I will not abandon you. I am forever here to save you. You are still my child, so very, very precious and cherished by me. You are still my treasure, and I am with you, even now. You ask of me, what now? Stay close. Stay ever so close to me now. Pray for the grace to have me always in your heart and mind, my name ever on your tongue. You must hold tightly to the hem of my garment and never for a second let me go again. Develop the habit of thanking me always and everywhere. Have me ever before your mind's eye. This you must pray for also, and I will give it. I am with you already as it is, but you need to be able to sense me, feel me, and interact with me, speaking to me always as your most trusted friend. I am keenly interested in your every thought and feeling. So long as you strive to stay lowly and humble, being very little in your own eyes, I will forever be your most trusted friend and confidant. Nothing draws me more closely than very small and childlike souls. I stay closer to them than their own skin, and I will be with you. I know that you are still in a great state of bewilderment, and the rest of the world around you is in a terrible state of disarray. But I also know that already you are beginning to feel an inexplicable, supernatural peace and calm within. I will continue to give you this gift, and you will be able to think and reason with remarkable clarity. Do not worry about your needs. As you can see, I have provided for you in every way. People will continue to give to you everything that you will need, seemingly out of the blue, and you will quickly begin to experience just how truly beautiful a real life of faith is even during these most extraordinary circumstances. Nothing is out of my control, and nothing is allowed without my consent. I have made every provision for you ahead of time. You have no need to be anxious at all. Only keep your heart and eyes on me. You are my precious, precious child, and I will not allow anything or anyone to harm you. I have set my angels all about you to watch over you day and night. Not only will you be provided for, but you will know my love and care and the surety of my faithfulness as I bring an overabundance for you to help others with. You will begin to meet others who, like you, have repented as well, and through their own brokenness, have been fully restored in profound humility 
and whose hearts are solely for me and the kingdom of God alone. I will gather again my people as a mother her little children, and I will bring them through this time of trial and testing victorious. They will shine like the stars in the firmament of heaven, twice refined. They will rule and reign with me as they have persevered and come through gloriously the time of tribulation. <laughs> 